Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about classifications of angles. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly classify the different kinds of angles and accurately solve for the measurement of an angle using the angle addition postulate. Rocky loves to travel to see the different applications of mathematics in real life. In one of his travels, he noted the applications of the different kinds of angles. Below were some of the things Rocky saw. Can you name the kind of angle in each picture? So we have here picture A. Um, we have the opening of the mouth of the crocodile that forms the ang an angle. Pwedeng dito or pwedeng ito. Now we have in picture B, we also have this is an angle or this this one is the angle, or pwede ring ito, pwede ring ito. In picture C, we have this one as the angle. We also have this, or pwede ding ito. Okay? Or pwede ding, we have this opening right here, and so on. An angle is a geometric figure formed by joining two rays at their end points. The point where the rays meet is called the vertex. And the rays making up the angle are called the sides. So in this example, this figure is an angle. This forms an angle. So this angle is composed of ray BA, this ray right here. This is ray BA, and this is ray BC, which are the sides of the angle. And the point B is called the vertex, and this is the angle. How do we name an angle? To name an angle, we either use its vertex or its three points. Again, to name an angle, we can use its vertex or its three points. The symbol, this one, is used to denote an angle. So this is read as angle. To name an angle using three points, the first letter of the three should be a point on one of its sides. The middle letter letter is its vertex and the last letter is also the point on the other side so example in this angle this can be named as angle def so the first letter is a point on the side which is d and the second letter is the middle point or the vertex right the vertex and the last of the three points is a point on the other side so we have angle d e f or we can use its vertex e so in symbols we can have angle d e f that's d e f or angle e right angle e so that represents this angle how do we measure angles Angle measurement is the rotation or opening between the sides of an angle. The measurement or the measure of the opening between the sides of an angle or its rotation. So it can be measured using degrees or radians. These are the most commonly used units for an angle measurement. A degree is 1 over 360 of the circumference of a circle, thus the measure of an angle equivalent to one full rotation in a circle measures 360 degrees. Okay? 360 degrees, that's one full rotation. Example, the figures below represent the rotation of an angle. For this one, okay, that's, uh, that represents... A rotation and this is also it so th uh, this represents the opening of the angle okay so isang buong rotation parang ganun no, no? so this is mesh this is um 360 degrees isang buong rotation now what are the different kinds of angles so we have not just three but more than that so what are they first one we have acute angle Acute angle is an angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees. So, less than 90 degrees. So, this is an example of an acute angle where the measure is 45 degrees. So, it's less than 90 degrees. So, this is an acute angle. Another kind is a right angle. This is exactly 90 degrees. Right? 90 degrees. 
So in this figure, the small square denotes that the angle measures 90 degrees. This small square right here, it tells us that the angle is 90 degrees. Another kind is an obtuse angle. It is an angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees, more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Okay, less than 180 degrees. Kung ang acute angle ay hindi pwedeng maging exactly 90 degrees, kasi kung exactly 90 degrees, it's a right angle already. More than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, that's an obtuse angle. Kasi pag nag 180 degrees na siya, Okay, 180 degrees exactly, that's a different kind of angle. Okay, and we're going to find that out um, on, uh, next on this. So in this figure, we have an obtuse angle. This measures 110 degrees. So this is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Another kind is a straight angle. Ito yung exactly 180 degrees. So straight siya. Okay? straight line so the measure of this angle is 180 degrees it's a straight angle straight angle another kind of an angle is what we call the reflex angle reflex angle so this is an angle whose measure is more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees so 360 degrees is a full rotation Okay, one full rotation yung 360 degrees. So, this is an example of a reflex angle. Okay, kasi uh, we, without, uh, without the, the measure, the exact measurement of this angle, we know that this is a reflex angle because this is more than or greater than a straight angle. So, kung straight angle, ayun lang, no? Sumobra eh, sumobra ng straight angle. So, this is a reflex angle. Reflex angle. But this one right here, kung itong angle na ito, ayan, this opening, itong angle, ano kaya ito? Well, this is less than, less than 90 degrees kasi yung 90 degrees, para dito siya, di ba? Ayan, yung 90 degrees. So, this is less than 90 degrees. So, this is an acute angle. Okay, acute angle. Now, let's talk about the angle addition postulate. Ano ba ito? So, an angle addition postulate states that when two angles are placed side by side, okay, side by side, meaning they have a common side, a common side, their measures may be added, pwede silang i-add to form a bigger angle. For this postulate to apply, it is a must. It is a must. Kailangan that the vertices of the individual angles must be the same. So, they have the same vertices and they must share a common side. So, ito yung sabi ko kanina. Uh, to be able to apply the angle addition postulate, kailangan nila side by side. They have a common side and they have a common vertex. Okay? Their vertices are the same. Paano ba yan? Example. We have here... Angle GHI, this angle, ito yung kabuuan, right? That's the bigger angle, angle GHI. And the smaller ones, the smaller angles, we have angle AHI and angle GHA, okay? GHA. Now, the postulate states that if a point A, point A lies in the interior of angle GHI, lies in the interior so nasa loob siya yung point A nasa loob ng angle okay of angle GHI then we can say that angle GHI or the measure of this angle the measure of the bigger angle is equal to the measure of angle GHA plus the measure of angle AHI okay Next, we have the angle bisector. An angle bisector is either a line or a line segment or pwede rin siyang ray. That bisects, ibig sabihin ng bisect, dinivide niya yung angle 
into two equal parts. Remember the word equal. Okay, two equal parts. Meaning, if uh, we have here in this figure, we have angle PGR. Okay, angle PGR bisected by the ray GQ. Okay, binisect siya ng ray GQ. Okay, bisected meaning to say, ang measure ng angle PGQ at ang measure ng angle QGR are equal. Okay, they are the same. So, um, indicated by uh, one line here. So, one line, one line meaning the measurements are equal. Okay, or they have the same measure. So, that's bisector. Example, classify the angle below. Okay, ito naman, 120 degrees. This is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So, this is an obtuse angle. Okay, obtuse angle. Yan. Example number two, given the measure, measure of angle ONP, this is read as measure. Okay, measure of angle ONP, sanyan ONP. So this angle right here is 42 degrees. Okay, sulatan natin ano para uh, clear. Okay, magiging clear para sa atin. And measure of angle MNP, MNP. So meaning the bigger angle. Okay, the measure of this angle is 105 degrees. Okay, 105 degrees. Find the measure of angle MNO. So, ang tinatanong sa atin, anong measurement ng angle MNO? Ano ito dito? Okay? So, eto. So, refer to the figure below. Alright, paano ba yan? Of course, we are going to make use of the angle addition postulate. Okay? Notice that angle MNO and angle O and P share a common vertex, which is N, and has a common side, which is ray NO. Okay, thus we may use the angle addition postulate. How will that be? So, measure of angle M and O plus measure of angle O and P equals the measure of the bigger angle, which is angle M and P. Okay, so hindi natin ito alam, ito yung inaalam natin, angle M and O. This one, ang angle MNO. Ito yung inaalam natin, ano? Okay? So, plus angle ONP, that's 42 degrees, equals the angle of the bigger angle. So, that's MNP. MNP, that's 105 degrees. Okay, solving that, we have ito, lipat, solving linear equation in one variable. Okay, so 42 Tipat natin dito magiging minus 42 na siya. So, 105 minus 42, that is 63 degrees. Do not forget to write degrees, ha? Because angles can also be measured using radians. Okay? So, 63 degrees. So, that's the measure of angle MNO. That's the measure of angle MNO is 63 degrees.